Well, just how good is that Microsoft and Google agreement to uh, take measures that will make it harder to find child abuse images on the net? Sarah Smith's been finding out. Here's her report. In the murky depths of the World Wide Web, there are filthy things floating around that most of us hope we will never have to come into contact with. But they are things we can't ignore. Vile images of child sex abuse that are both dangerous and illegal. Google and Bing, the biggest search engines by far, can't stop the abuse, but they can stop people finding it via their sites. They have agreed to block 100,000 unambiguous search terms which lead to illegal content, while a further 13,000 search terms linked with child sex abuse will flash up warnings that the content could be illegal and pointing users towards help. We have been working on this for, for many years. We, we, we took uh, proactive action to identify this material online, to remove it and report it. But there is more that can be done and over the last few months uh, we've had around about 200 people working on this to, to find new ways to deal with the problem. The Prime Minister told Google and the other big internet firms they had to tighten up their practices or he would make them change. Today he thinks he has forced them to make the internet that bit safer. There's more work to be done, but we really should be clear today that what we were previously told couldn't and shouldn't be done in terms of cleaning up searches for these vile terms. It will be done, it is being done, 100,000 terms in 159 countries, not just here in the UK. So will today's action really clean up the web? Google themselves admit they can't prevent people uploading illegal images of child abuse. And even if Google are doing all they can, this is not where most active paedophiles search for material. They use the dark corners of the internet and what's called peer-to-peer -peer sharing, bypassing Google entirely. Paedophiles who were online yesterday looking for images won't have used Google. They will be using peer-to-peer -peer networks, they will be in the deep web sharing images, uh, and they will be you know, scarring social media sites and other locations where they know the young and vulnerable are. So whilst this makes the internet safer by design so that you don't get inadvertent access to the wrong type of inappropriate or illegal image, and it perhaps will delay the novice paedophile, in the long term this doesn't deal with the root cause, which is people. To deal with those people, GCHQ will be called in. David Cameron wants to use their technological expertise, along with the American NSA, to decrypt material and uncover secret websites. Together they will delve into the dark and dirty depths of the internet, along with specialist police officers who the Prime Minister says will team up with the FBI to dive into the dark net and track down the offenders who are hiding out of sight.